Hello, welcome to the Knotweed Lab. We are a group of interdisciplinary students at Trinity Western in BC. Alongside Joshua Hill, Dr. David Clemens, and Dr. Kelly Arbo, we research invasive Bohemian knotweed to share data with the scientific community and the general population. Awareness of knotweed and how to manage it will help preserve BC's diverse and unique natural environment. This video will share what our team members accomplished over the summer for knotweed research. As you probably remember, from November 14th to 15th, 2021, a disastrous flood swept across southwestern BC, resulting in the highest stream flow the Chilliwack River has ever seen. The surge of water breaks up the riverside, including the knotweed roots growing within it. The regenerative and fragile nature of knotweed rhizomes results in them breaking up and traveling downstream to regrow in new locations. Though knotweed can repopulate from its seeds, its main means of spreading are through its rhizomes, which are underground stems that grow horizontally and are capable of producing the shoots and roots of a new plant. In the 1930s, the Chilliwack River was redirected into the Vetter River, which is where our research occurred. In 2019, conveniently before the flood, BC's Alien Plant Program, IAPP, recorded the amount of knotweed along the Vetter Canal from Keith Wilson Bridge to Dahimi Rapids. For the summer, we surveyed knotweed using the same parameters to see the predicted increase of knotweed from the flooding. Knotweed stands are extremely dense invasives that outcompete native plants, decreasing species diversity and negatively impacting wildlife habitats. Recent research also states that the thicker nature of knotweed roots and the tendency of dead knotweed stems to die, leaving the bank bare, increases erosion of the riverbanks. Here is what each student's rule was this summer. I suppose I'll introduce myself. I am Jaylene, a fourth year biology student with a minor in chemistry. My job this summer was to help take GPS points and to input them into our map. I also assisted Laura in the lab and began planning my thesis for next year, which will focus on the determining the preferred site characteristics of knotweed. Hi, my name is Sarah Damien and I am a third year biology student planning to go into medical school. This summer, I led the survey along the Chilliwack Vetter River. We found knotweed everywhere, specifically within debris full of logs and branches that were carried from the flood. Knotweed grew in between rocks, in wet and dry soil, and even in the river itself. We saw mature knotweed stands, as well as hundreds of new and young knotweed stands, which we presume to be from the flooding. As expected, the map that Aidan Anderson created showed a dramatic increase of knotweed stands compared to what was found in 2019 before the flood. Aiden is a fourth year environmental science major and spearheaded this project by coming up with a thesis idea to study how knotweed has spread since the major flooding in 2021. However, this summer he focused on more mature knotweed stands upstream from the tributaries, which we presume are the source of knotweed stands growing further downstream. The knotweed in the tributaries were significantly more developed and were extremely large. Laura McKenna is a second year biology student planning for deck industry. She was collecting the leaves from each knotweed stand to record and analyze his data. Lauren will confirm if the knotweed from the tributaries are parents of the newer stands downstream. Therefore, Lauren also spent a lot of time in lab. Hannah Manal also helped significantly over the summer. She was working on a separate research project about knotweed rhizomes growing in different climate conditions, but she also assisted in surveying along the river. We are excited to finish up our theses and hopefully get them published. Knotweed is a growing issue within riparian environments, and awareness is the first step to achieving change. Please check out our website, The Knotweed Lab, to learn more about what you can do if you see or have knotweed on your property.